Now, when most people think about farming, two things come to mind. That's corn and soybeans. However, people may not realize there's a crop growing in the ground right now. In this morning's Indiana Farm Report, News 18 is talking about the benefits of wheat and why farmers are encouraged to go ahead and add that into their normal crop rotation. Ours looks pretty good. Um, maybe it's got a little more growth than some. We got it planted pretty early. Delphi farmer Brian Scott incorporates winter wheat in his crop rotation. It's good to have in the rotation. It breaks up pest and disease cycles in corn and soybeans. Uh, it's good for the soil. And it's kind of like kind of like having a cover crop that you also harvest. So. Scott says over the years he's continued to plant more winter wheat. Right now he says he plants about three times more than what he previously did. It's nice. Uh, it breaks up the workload a little bit. We do double crop beans behind it, but they, they harvest a little faster than normal beans in the fall. Purdue professor of agronomy Tony Vine says there's currently an increased demand for wheat and prices are good. Today, uh, winter wheat prices are averaging now about 30% uh, more than the corn price, an additional uh, $2 per bushel, depending on which contract month you're actually talking about. Not only are the prices and demand up, but planting winter wheat provides a lot of benefits. We can no longer treat wheat as a poor second cousin. We need to treat wheat uh, with all of the attention that it deserves. One of the benefits includes crop diversification. So you think in terms of uh, adding wheat to, let's say, a strict corn soybean rotation, that diversification leads to some benefits in terms of improvement in soil structure. And because of this, winter wheat can also improve your corn and soybean yields. Evidence from uh, Ontario, Canada is basically about a 4% yield gain following wheat when it's in regularly included in the rotation and about an 8% uh, yield gain for soybeans compared to a traditional corn soybean rotation. Vine says there's a lot of reasons for farmers to add winter wheat to their crop rotation moving forward. Price, yield advantage for other crops, and the opportunity to consider crop diversification. Vine says Indiana has roughly 310,000 acres of wheat that is seeded last fall. He says the kind of wheat that's grown in eastern United States is a soft red wheat that's primarily used to make pastry flour.